Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Renee, thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you being here. Good morning and welcome to Beauty Ninja Mask Monday. Today, we're gonna be getting into this pumpkin mask right here that I got from Becky a while ago. Nourish and Exfoliating Everyday Veggie Slice Mask. This is Naster and we got a bucket full of empties to go through, so hang out. I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, thanks for wanting to hang out with me for a little bit. So I got this from Becky. I'm not sure exactly when. I've probably had it for a couple years. I don't even know if it's, like hopefully it's still good. Um, it's Everyday Veggie Slice Mask Pumpkin Nourish and Exfoliating. Veggie recipe from nature. Smooth skin, moisturizing, natural ingredients, 100% cotton sheet, flour complex for free, which is sulfate, silicone, mineral oil, artificial color. Fresh veggie slice for your skin. The hypoallergenic moisture mask will deliver vitamin A and C rich pumpkin essence for softer and moisturized skin. Everyday Veggie Slice Mask provides nutrition from fresh and natural ingredients, leaving your skin healthy for uneven skin tone and dry skin. Pumpkin enriched in vitamin A and C naturally exfoliates and strengthens your skin barrier while leaving your skin smooth and moisturized cotton mask 100 percent cotton sheet mask provides soft texture and can be used daily without irritation flower complex contains flower extract and hyaluron for soft and resilient skin cleanse tone which i did leave on for 15 to 20 minutes all right so let's get into it i'm gonna put this on and then i'll be right back Alrighty guys, I'm back and I got the mask on. It feels really good, you guys. It feels really good. So this mask is going in to the garbage. And now we can get into the rest of the empties. I should put some of this um, lip glaze stuff. I got it, it's milk. I got it from Busy Beauty Customs. And it's milk Kush lip glaze. I'm gonna put this on my lips. Look at the applicator, you guys. That's so cool. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my lips you got to be very careful that you don't squeeze out too much oh it smells good mm, feels good on the lips too all right so the first thing i got in here is i used up these scentsy warmers there's like one two three four five six seven eight cubes in here so i just finished these up this is cinnamon cinnamon pine cones these are so good you put the wax the little wax thing in your warmer and when it's not on and it hardens up you can put that in the freezer and then it comes out really easy i love that so much so we're done with that the next thing that i got in here is creme shop Complete Cleansing 20 Pre-Wet Towelettes Coconut Water Raspberry. I got these in Busy Beauty Customs. Used them all up. Loved them. The warm, the wax melts I got from um, an order I made with uh, Stacy when I did my online party. Uh, the next thing I have is this Pacifica Flower Moon Jasmine Peach Vanilla Body Lotion. Whoa! My hands are a little slippery. I, I like it, but it's not something that I would repurchase or try again. I, I think I got this in Busy Beauty Customs. It doesn't soak into your skin really well. Like it would, I had to rub and rub and rub and rub to get it to soak into my skin. So for, for that reason, like it moisturized and stuff. It's just like, it doesn't, it doesn't soak into the skin. And I did, I didn't like that. I have tried other lotions that really like, soak into your skin when you put it on and it, you don't have to keep rubbing to get it to go in. The, this next one is One Size Go Off Makeup Dissolving Mist. I just finished this up. I got this in Busy Beauty Customs. I really enjoy this. This was really nice because it's not like a balm that you have to scoop out or anything. You can just literally spray it on your face and you massage it around and it really does take the makeup 
break the makeup up and take it off. And then you just, I mean, of course, you're going to have to cleanse your face afterwards. But, all right, we got some sheet masks, sheet masks. And we've got some eye patches. I've been doing these. Um, this is the A Dream Come Blue, Grace and Stella. Everything is better in pink, Grace and Stella. And then the uh, regular Grace and Stella eye patches. I've been using this, these at night when I lay down to watch TV instead of doing them like on Mask Mondays because they just slide off anyway. So um, then we have this Soothe Me Tea Tree Skin Calming Mask that I did, the Creme Shop Seekamend. I think that's how you say it. And the Creme Shop Rainbow Rainbow Remedy. All really good sheet masks. I've been trying to switch it up a little bit and do like maybe, you know, clay masks and stuff like that. Uh, this Hydrating Body Wash from Kapari. I got this in Busy Beauty Customs. I took this when I went to go visit my dad last week and um, I finished it up. I do have another one that's in my travel bag. So those are really great for when I go on vacation and stuff. I finished up Nature Made Gummies B12, Extra Strength 3000 MCGs. I really enjoy these. I take vitamin B12 every day. So I go through those quite a bit. Um, next thing we have is this Saltwater Breeze Bath and Body uh, Body Spray. Oh, she smells good, guys. I don't know. I'm not really good, like I hear people explain scents when they're talking about fragrances and I don't know how they come up with the descriptions of what it smells like. I just know it smells good, you know what I mean? But I guess if I had to put a description to it, it, it really smells like summer, like a beach day. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I guess it would be a scent that I would expect to smell during the summertime. Like when you're out and about on the beach or whatever, you know. It smells so good though. So good. Like, I have so many favorite Bath and Body Works scents. Next, we have the Bliss Cloud and Cloud Cloud 9 Body Lotion with Vita Shea Blend, Vitamin B3, C, and E, Almond Milk, and Vanilla Scented. This lotion was really good. This one, you put it on, it soaked in. It lasted for quite a while. I mean, I think I, I, think I had this for probably over a month, um, and I used it pretty much every day. Um, not every day. Like, sometimes I don't put lotion on my body on my days off. It just kind of depends if I'm just going to be around the house doing stuff or if I'm going to go out. Um, but it lasted a while. Uh, then the next thing we have is the ColourPop foundation. This I had in my color pan project, but I have another one. This one is too light for my skin. The other one is perfect. So this one, I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. I don't know that anybody would want that because it's, I mean, it's kind of old anyway. Oh, we have more vitamins. This is Nature Made Gummies C, 250 milligrams. There was 80 gummies in here. Um, I take these every day too. I take two vitamin vitamin C gummies every day. As long as, as well, oh my God, you guys. And two of the vitamin B12s every day. Then I finished up Comet bleach that I got from um, Dollar Tree. I usually always get that kind of stuff at Dollar Tree just because it's more affordable. I did, um, I was going to use this, but when I opened it, there wasn't anything left in it. So I don't understand why um, I had it still in my cabinet. I mean, there's a little bit in there, but it's like all dried out. So yeah, she's time to go. That was an amazing mask and they don't we can have it anymore. That's the one thing I hate about Avon is you find something that you really like and enjoy and then they discontinue it. Like, why would you do that? We got two more eye patches. I switched out my toothbrush. 
because you should be doing that. I think it's every three months you're supposed to switch out your toothbrushes. I got rid of this little poof. I'm going to throw it away because it's tearing and I got some other ones that I just ordered not that long ago from Timu. Um, this is Purely Silk Glow BB Base Primer. I use this all up. I'm pretty sure I got this from Busy Beauty Customs. This was a really good primer. I enjoyed it for me. Not everybody might like it, but I enjoyed it. I used this body cream, Scentsy Body Cream Luna. This stuff was really good too. I enjoyed that. I just wish it was a bigger package, but it's enough to try it and see if you like it, see how it soaks into your skin and stuff like that. Um, then I have my, the daily facial moisturizer. This was in my color pan project. I finished this up. I still have the eye cream, which is probably going to take forever to get through. And then I still have a little bit of the face spray, which I might actually finish up in the next couple days. So this is an empty proud of myself for getting through that. Then we've got the Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Mascara. There's still some in here. But I've probably had this for like four months. So it's time to let it go. And it's not like I don't have like a ton of other mascaras that I need to use anyway. Then we have this Jimmy Choo. I'm not sure what scent it is. Does that say Blossom? It might be Blossom. But this was when I was getting Scentsy. Or not Scentsy. Scentbox. Good gravy, Renee. This smells really good. I really enjoyed that. So that's an empty. Then we got um, aspirin. I went through some aspirin, so we got rid of that. Um, because when I went to, I had gotten a referral to go to a cardiologist because uh, when I went to see my doctor, they did, uh, what do you call it? Where they put the things on you, an EKG. They did an EKG and it, I guess it was like a, abnormality or something so they referred me to cardiology and I had to do a stress test and all of that and that came out fine and then the first doctor I saw she went through like past records that I had on file that showed the same thing from like 10-15 years ago and she said it hadn't gotten any worse or changed or anything she said it was something that it's just normal that I guess I was born with and then the last time that I went to the the cardiologist for a follow-up which I don't have to go back anymore like unless something was to happen um, but he said there's this thing uh, POF or POV or something like that and it's like a when you're born there's like this like maybe a little hole in your heart not like a hole in your heart I don't really know how to explain it but normally when you're born you have it and it kind of grows together as you get older and um, mine just never closed up. He said it's like a lot of people have it and um, it can cause problems in your life. Like it could potentially cause uh, strokes in my life. But he said, if I take the aspirin, it would, it's like a, like a less than 1% chance that it would happen. And then if I take baby aspirin, like the 81 milligrams, he said it's even less than the, the less than 1% chance. So he, and he said, if I did have a stroke, they would just have me take the aspirin anyway. So I just take the aspirin to hopefully keep that from happening. Um, and then I used this almond and olive facial soap. I had this in the shower to wash my face when I take a shower. I pretty sure I got this from a hotel because whenever I go on vacation, if I stay at a hotel, I always <laughs> take the little shampoos, the conditioners, the facial washes, the lotions. Like if I don't use it all while I'm there, I take it with me because I paid for the hotel room. So I'm, I'm going to make use of the products that came with my purchase. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I even ask them to bring extras up. Then we have this, is this True Brazilian Activating Serum Organic is protection this was for my hair I enjoyed this it took me a while to get through it because you guys it's bonkers how much hair stuff that I have in my room it really is and then we have two more things in here 
This right here is the Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes, and this is all dried out. I used the heck out of this. I mean, there might be like a very little bit, but it's it's pretty dried out, so we're getting rid of that. Because I started using this right about the time I started using the Wander Beauty, so I probably had that for about four months too, so it's time to let her go. And then I have this um, color switch, which like, if you look, you can see it's like all worn out, so when I was color switch in my brushes like this stuff comes out I don't know can I keep this and just buy the little sponges maybe I should just get rid of the sponge and keep the keep this I could even like I don't know we can make use of this for something maybe I could maybe I could like put a candle in here or something that's a good idea repurpose it repurpose it all right so that's all the empties that I got I don't know how long it's been since I did an empties video. Maybe maybe a couple months because um, I've had other stuff to share with you guys on Mask Mondays. And I really didn't have enough to go through. You know what I mean? Like if I'm going to do my empties, I want it to be a decent amount and be substantial. So anyways, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to clean up what I got going on here. And I'll be right back to take the mask off and let you know how my skin's feeling. So don't go anywhere. Alrighty guys, I'm back in the mask. It's time for it to come off. It dried out pretty good. My skin must have really needed it because it soaked it up nice. I should probably put some on my arms and my hands. Get it right here on my scar to get that nice and moisturized as well. The decollete area and my neck, whoa. I'm gonna pick my son up in a couple hours. He had to work early today. So I thought I'd do a little self self care before I go pick him up. But, mm, oh, this feels really nice. Get some underneath my eyes and over here. Hope those crow's feet. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well that's my Mask Monday for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about my empties. Have you used any of that stuff? Do you like it? Um, have you tried that Pacifica lotion? Do you feel the same way as I do? Like it's, it's not a bad lotion, it just doesn't soak into your skin, which really is, I want something that's gonna really soak into my skin, you know what I mean? But anyways, I love you guys so much. I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy this kind of stuff as well as a lot of other things, I post, well, recently I've been posting five days a week, um, but mostly uh, I like to post at least three, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, but I have been doing Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, with like little added videos, so, um, you know, we got a lot of stuff going on over here. So if you want to join the family, we'd love to have you a part of Nene's Glam Squad. It doesn't cost anything to join the club, guys. Just go down below, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn the notification bell up to all. That way you can get notified anytime I make a new upload. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And it would really help out my channel. Let's YouTube know that you enjoy seeing my content. We are 10 away last time I looked. 10 away from 1500. I'm super stoked. And once we get there, I am planning on doing a giveaway, probably two or three uh, bubble mailers that I will give out. I still gotta like iron out the details. I was just waiting until I get there and stick there. And uh, yeah, leave a comment down below and let me know that you stopped by. I hope you all have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. Take care, stay safe, and I hope I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.